everyone. Welcome back to another phonics lesson. This is the last uh, time that you're seeing the focus being long E spelled blank Y. So every time that you have more than two syllables um, and N in Y, for the most part, I have to say that now, for the most part, it's going to say E. What's it going to say? E. What's it going to say? E. E. I have to preface that because as you go into third grade, you're going to learn about prefixes that will help uh, keep the Y saying I in certain cases. All right, so let's jump into this. All right, now that you've been practicing your blending, you're on day five. These words have a lot of syllables, <laughs> but do not be intimidated. Remember, a word like this can be broken apart to help you. All right, here we go. Miss T, can you unmute yourself? I, I, I know. I'm going to unmute myself as I read it. Okay, sounds fair. Thank you. Ready? Boys and girls, let's give it a shot. Three, two, one. Hickory. Contra. Hickory. Yes, contradictory. And here we go. That is factory. All right, those were large words. Let's go back and read it with more fluidity. Ready? Three, two, one. Hickory. Contradictory. And satisfactory. And then I hope you noted that I ended up putting a, a dot over that because it's actually a relaxed vowel sound, which we call a schwa, and I mentioned that before. Um, but keep in mind that when you see that indicator for my lessons, it's going to be a schwa sound, and that means that you're going to say, uh. All right, teachers, can I get one volunteer teacher to reread that for fluidity's sake? Um, yes, let's see. Sure. Hickory, contradictory, satisfactory. Beautiful job. Any connections here? Thumb to your chest as soon as you're, you figured it out. Boys and girls, remember, if you need that think time, hit that pause button. Ms. Yakimowicz, what do you think it is? Um, I noticed that um, they all end in the O-R-Y sound. That makes the... Ori, I think. Hick -ori. Yes, it makes the Ori sound here. Very nice. And then anything else that you might note? Um, there's more than, there are more than two syllables. So yeah, there are more than two more. syllables. Yes. And then something that you should note, that first syllable is a CVC. Mm. All right, let's jump to that second line. Remember, boys and girls, take your time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Un -ha -he. Ready? Hush. Ha. P. Big word. Remember, this is going to be relaxed vowel sound. Uh. Ready? Here we go. Uh. Ro. Ma. Fair. Uh. P. P. Hmm. Let's reread that again. Ready? Unhappy. Hush. Happy. Aroma. Therapy. Wow. See? You can do it. Miss, Miss Yakimoch, can you reread that line again? Yes. Unhappy. Hush, puppy. Aroma therapy. That's a long Beautiful. one. Beautiful. Yes, and look how many syllables that one has. One, two, three, four, five, six. But you were able to tackle that because you saw where the uh, breaks were. All right, boys and girls, pause, think. What is it that you notice in this line? What do you think the fact family is? Fact family, did I just say that? <laughs> what do you think the uh, family is? Or what do you think the spelling pattern is? <laughs> Okay, let's go with Miss T. Miss T? 
I think it ends with the P sound spelled P Y. Yes. And I was gonna say, no, you're missing a letter, but no, you said sound. And the P Y is making P sound here, P and P. And again, boys and girls, we're gonna continue our practice. Here we go, line three. Ready, line three. Easier words, three, two, one. Floppy, from, from B, lump, lump B. Okay, for fluidity's sake, can I have Miss T reread that? Floppy, from B, lumpy. Hmm. See, you tackled all these hard words, and when you got here, you're like a pro. Let's mm -hmm. go ahead and take a moment to notice if there's a pattern. Hmm. Anything that you may have found in that line, thumb to your chest teachers when you're ready. Miss T, what would you like to note? Um, it has the P sound endings also with PY, but I think Frumpy only has one P, right? I'm not oh, sure. You're right. I'm sorry. And boys and girls, teachers make mistakes too. Yeah, we're humans. This is why we should take our time when we're planning. <laughs> but thankfully, Miss Rosales, they all still, that still follows a pattern of the P sound at the end. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And again, boys and girls, we're not perfect. We're human beings and we make mistakes and it's okay to make mistakes so long as we learn, learn from, from that. It. Yes. And again, something else you may have noticed is that they are made up of two, only two mm -hmm. syllable counts. Okay, we're at the bottom now. And I want you to make note of the sentence. Remember, boys and girls, this is not a thumb to your chest. This is, um, show me with your hands. Show me with your fingers. How many words can you find in that sentence that has the long uh, E spelled blank Y? Okay, Miss, Miss Yakimovic, you're eager to share. Go ahead and share that first word that you noticed. Aromatherapy. Dang! You said it like a pro. Aromatherapy. What about you, Miss Keith? Satisfactory. Whoa, another big word. And both of you, three, two, one. Henry. Henry, Henry if you're out there looking at this. Hi, Henry. Hi, Henry. <laughs> Hi, Henry. <laughs> All right. Let's reread that sentence because this is aromatherapy satisfactory. And Henry, three, two, one. The aromatherapy. aromatherapy was satisfactory for Henry. Henry. Beautiful job. Boys and girls, it's that time again. Pull out that whiteboard, pull out that paper, pull out your seesaw count. And teachers, what time is it? It's not encoding. decoding, it's encoding. encoding time. So it's encoding time. So I need you to pop onto that whiteboard for you. And then for my boys and girls, if you're using the seesaw account, hit that draw. Uh, we'll wait for you or actually hit that pause button and let us get started, teachers, with a thumb to your chest. Let's me know that you are ready. And again, these are scaffolds. You don't have to have them. If you feel confident in your spelling, short CVCs, then you don't need to use them. Here we go. All right, first word. Look at these sets, boys and girls. Wow. More than two syllables or two syllable words. The word is victory. What's the word? Victory. victory. Here we go. V -ic vic t o to e re. Victory. V -ic t o r e. Show me, teachers. You are correct. Let's move on to the next word. History. History. What's the word? History. History. It's his t o t o r e r e. It's his t o t o r e. Re, history, show me teachers. Beautiful, two for two. Number three, scrap P, scrappy. What's the word? Scrappy. 
app scrap e p scrappy sk r app p e show me look at that miss yakima which is so eager to show off her work great job miss all right <laughs> jumping on to the next word we have unhappy unhappy what's that word unhappy uh mm, un ha hap ha e p a n ha a p p e show me uh quite the opposite of what you're looking at here look at their faces smiling teachers <laughs> no i said the opposite <laughs> here we go top of that next column therapy what's the word therapy watch it two letters make one sound digraph eh, very good fair a e p therapy eh, fair a e therapy show me i gave you that a thank you put it down number six you saw this before hush puppy what's the word hush puppy here we go uh two sound two letters make one sound Shh. uh pup and then p e p uh e hush puppy show me your work beautiful job here we go all right we're down to our last word here notice how that's broken apart you can do it you can do it mm -hmm. the word is satisfactory what's the word satisfactory, satisfactory. here you go at sat is is at Back, t o to e re sat is fac to re sat it's fac to e satisfactory. Show me. My goodness, do we have professionally skilled teachers here? Of course. Let's jump to that sentence now. Boys and girls, if you got that, pat yourself on that, on your back, because that was a long one, but very, very easy to do once you break it apart. Sentence, boys and girls, it's that time. If you need to go ahead and hit pause to copy the scaffold that you may need, go ahead and do that. Teachers, let me know when you're ready for your challenge sentence here. Okay, Miss T is ready. All right, Missy Kimowich, here we go. The scrappy sk r app scrap p e p scrappy puppy a uh, pup p e p puppy was unhappy a uh, m mm, un h a Hap, p e p, unhappy with the tiny t i t i n e n e tiny hick o re hickory h i k hick O r e re hickory, and then here's the word bone. B o n b o n. So again, the the scrappy puppy was unhappy with the tiny hickory bone. All right, teacher, show me that sentence. Excellent, excellent job. Boys and girls, pat yourself on the back. Whether or not you got that, it was a lot to ask of you, but you tried your best and that's what matters. 
remember next week another focus um for our new spelling pattern keep up the good work don't forget to subscribe bye